mysteries are waiting out there. What new adventures can we see? What are the answers to the never-ending questions in your brain that's in a race to find the reason or the place from deep on Earth to outer space so that the truth of any case can be unfurled in the real world? Science in the real world. Hi, I'm Kirsten. Welcome to Real World Science. Rocks are everywhere on Earth, and people have been using rocks to build things for thousands of years. The Egyptians used large rocks to make the pyramids. Stonehenge in England is made of giant sized rocks. The Great Wall of China is made of rocks. The ancient Greeks made temples out of rocks. And for centuries, cultures throughout the world carved rock to make statues, monuments, and other works of art. Today, some of the tallest buildings in the world are made of rock. We know that rocks are everywhere, and we use rocks for lots of different things. But what are rocks? That's what this program is all about. What are rocks and minerals? Rocks are made of one or more minerals. Minerals are solid matter found in nature. Some minerals you may already know about. For example, salt is a mineral. In nature, salt looks like this. A diamond used to make jewelry is a mineral. This is what a diamond looks like in nature. Silver that is used in coins is also a mineral. This is what silver looks like just after it is taken from a silver mine. Gold found in gold chains or rings is a mineral. This is what gold looks like in nature. Minerals are the basic building blocks of the earth. Minerals are inorganic, which means they are not alive. They don't need air, water, or food. Minerals are found in the Earth's soil, rocks, and water. Scientists have identified over 3,000 different minerals, and as you can see, they come in all different colors, shapes, and sizes. If you visit caverns, you can actually see rocks being formed from minerals. As acidic rainwater finds its way underground, little by little, the mineral calcite is deposited by water dripping. This forms stalactites on the roof and stalagmites on the floor of the cavern. Like minerals, rocks come in all shapes, sizes, and colors too. Another way to say that is that rocks have different properties. Some rocks are smooth, and others are very rough. Some rocks are very hard, while others are soft. Layers of Earth Minerals are the basic building blocks of the Earth. So let's take a close-up look at the Earth. If you could look inside the Earth, you would see that it is made up of different layers. The top layer of the Earth is called the crust. The layer of rock just beneath the crust is called the mantle. Rocks found in the mantle are pressed tightly together and some are partly melted. The layer below the mantle is called the outer core. The outer core is liquid rock. And below the outer core is the inner core. The inner core is solid. Both the inner core and the outer core are extremely hot. And both are mostly made of iron. Mountains, valleys, and even the ocean floor are all part of the Earth's crust. Most of the Earth's crust is made up of rock. And it's interesting to note that the Earth's crust is not the same in thickness everywhere. 
The crust on the ocean floor is thinner than the crust under parts of the land. The crust is thickest where there are mountains. How rocks form. You see rocks every day, but have you ever wondered how rocks are formed? There are three types of rocks, igneous rock, sedimentary rock, and metamorphic rock, and they are each formed in different ways. Let's see how igneous rock is formed. Igneous rock is formed from melted earth material called magma. Magma is a hot liquid that forms inside the earth. Sometimes magma flows onto the earth's surface, usually from a volcanic eruption. When magma reaches the surface of the earth, we call it lava. Igneous rock is formed from magma, or lava. Some examples of igneous rock are granite, rhyolite, obsidian, and scoria, better known as lava. The second kind of rock we're going to look at is called sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rocks are formed from sediments. Sediments are tiny pieces of Earth's material, such as mud, sand, and clay carried by wind or water. Over hundreds of thousands of years, the layers of sediment are pressed together to form rock. We call this type of rock sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rock is formed from compressed sediments. This picture shows different layers of sedimentary rock. Sometimes animals and plants may become covered with sediments and become fossils. Some sedimentary rocks contain fossils. Coal is a sedimentary rock that is made from plants that lived a long time ago. That's why coal is called a fossil fuel. The third kind of rock is called metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rock is rock that is changed by heat and pressure. For example, an igneous rock, like granite, can be changed to gneiss, a metamorphic rock. And a sedimentary rock, like limestone, changes through intense heat and pressure to form marble. Rocks change. Do you think rocks last forever? Well, they don't. Over time, rocks may change their shape, size, color, and texture. What can change a rock? Well, did you ever see a tree growing out of a solid rock? Plants can change rocks. Sometimes, soil will get into cracks in rocks and plants will start to grow. The roots push against the rock, and if the plant grows large enough, it can break the rock. Some animals change rocks by digging tunnels in the ground. As they dig, they loosen rocks and soil, allowing air and water to move in. People change rocks too. People dig tunnels, build roads, and cut rocks to build buildings and statues too. People can change rocks very quickly using machines, but in nature, the changes happen so slowly we can't detect them. But over a long period of time, rocks break into smaller parts. That's why you see signs on some roads that warn about falling rocks. Breaking rocks down into smaller pieces is called weathering, and it takes place all the time. Weathering is caused by wind, ice, and water. Notice here where the water has worn away the rock. Moving water slowly wears rocks down, especially if it carries sediment. An example of how water can wear rock away is the Grand Canyon. It's over one mile deep and 11 miles wide and was carved out by the Colorado River. Another way water changes rocks is when it freezes and turns to ice. Lots of rocks have cracks in them. Water flows into the cracks, 
When it gets cold outside and the water turns to ice, it expands, which splits the cracks in the rocks further apart. The cracks get bigger over time, and finally, they break. Water can change rocks in another way too. Groundwater and rain can soak into rocks. What happens next is that some minerals found in the rocks will dissolve. The dissolved minerals are then carried away by the water and holes are left where the minerals used to be. Rocks are also weathered by large amounts of ice called glaciers. As they move, they scratch or polish the rock surfaces. Glaciers also move rocks and drop them along their path. Here are some rocks that have been scratched by glaciers. Winds also weather rocks. Winds pick up and carry dust and sand, which scratch rocks and slowly wear them away. Sometimes wind-blown sediments weather rocks into unusual shapes. Erosion is the process by which wind and water wear away at rocks. When rocks are eroded, the final result is very small particles, which we call soil. Soil is typically the topmost layer of the Earth's rock layers. And soil differs from place to place. There are three types of soil, loam, sand, and clay. Loam is rich in decayed plants and animals, and it's the best type of soil for growing plants. While sand is made of large loose grains of the mineral quartz. Sand cannot hold water, so it's not good for growing plants. Clay holds water very well. Usually there is too much water, so it's not good for growing plants. However, because it sticks together well, clay is a good material for making pottery. The Rock Cycle So, rocks are always changing. One kind of rock changes into a different kind of rock. We call the changing of rocks the Rock Cycle. Let's begin with igneous rocks. Weathering breaks down igneous rocks into small particles. Sediments are formed and pressed together to become sedimentary rock. Some igneous rocks are buried deep inside the earth where the heat and pressure change the rocks to metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rocks are changed by weathering too. Sediments from these rocks can become sedimentary rock. Sedimentary and metamorphic buried deep inside the earth can change to igneous rocks or to other metamorphic rocks because of heat and pressure. There are lots of things that can affect the cycles of changes in rocks and soil. Wind, temperature, water, Ice and glaciers all cause the changes. It's the reason that landscapes all over the world look so different. It's the reason some places are mountainous and other places are deserts. Why some places are great for growing crops and other areas are rich in trees and woodlands. When you think about it, the rocks, minerals, and soil found in any one place on Earth tell a story of that place. You know that when you see a canyon, that the rock has been eroded by water. When you see a rock in the woods, you know that it was probably left behind by a glacier. Sand on the beach came from the constant weathering by the ocean. An igneous rock was formed from a volcanic eruption. In this program, we learned that rocks are formed from minerals, the basic building blocks of the Earth. The rocks come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. We learned how rocks are formed and how rocks change. Now that you know about rocks, 
take a look at the rocks where you live. Can you uncover their story? After all, they have a story to tell too.